Madam President, Disabled Vet American Veterans is celebrating 100 years of helping military veterans. I rise today to recognize this remarkable occasion. Throughout its history, DAV has been influential in identifying ways to best support our veterans. From pushing for consolidation of veterans programs in its early years, to direct outreach to veterans and communities with the launch of the field service unit program, to pressing for more funding for VA health care and benefits. There's been so much progress to advance veteran services thanks to the DAV's efforts. The organization's members and partners have a lot to be proud of. DAV members have been leading advocates for injured and ill veterans and their families, making a difference for countless wounded warriors. Their advocacy has helped and continues to build a better life for disabled veterans. We're thankful for the more than one million DAV members and auxiliary members doing great work to ensure our country keeps the promise we made to the men and women who have served in uniform. This week, members of the DA De Department of Arkansas are visiting the nation's capital to share the organization's legislative priorities for 2020. They are part of an extensive network that has been influential in identifying how the Department of Veterans Affairs can strengthen its services. They are among DAV members from across the country who are in Washington, D.C. to advocate on behalf of veterans. There is simply no substitute for coming to our nation's capital and visiting with members of Congress to let them know DAV's priorities. These include strengthening veterans' mental health care and suicide prevention programs, improving benefits and services for women veterans, and ensuring veterans who are, were exposed to toxic substances receive full and timely benefits. The good news, we are all working on these priorities because we all agree that our veterans deserve nothing less than quality care and the benefits that they've earned. Last month, the Senate VA Committee advanced the Commander John Scott Hannon Veterans Mental Health Care Improvement Act. This comprehensive legislation will strengthen our ability to provide veterans with the mental health care they need and includes language Senator, War Senator Warner and I authored to leverage the services of veterans serving nonprofits and other community networks in our overall strategy to reduce veteran suicides. VA Ranking Member Tester and I also are also working to improve services to our women veterans. Our Deborah Sampson Act legislation would eliminate barriers to care and services that many women veterans face and would help ensure that the VA can address the needs for women, which is so critical because they are more likely to face homelessness, unemployment, and go without needed health care. We are pleased to have the support of DAV for this important legislation. I'm proud to co-sponsor the Veterans Burn Pits Exposure Recognition Act that would allow veterans suffering from the effects of burn pits to get the benefits and services that they earned. I encourage my colleagues to support these bills so we can provide the resources promised to our veterans. For years, DAV members supported passage of the Blue Water Navy Bill. Thanks in part to their advocacy, last year Congress approved this critical legislation that extends benefits to more veterans exposed to toxic chemicals during the Vietnam War. The DAV's attention extends beyond the halls of Congress. Its national service program helps direct services to veterans across the country. I applaud the efforts of the more than 11,000 DAV members in Arkansas whose outreach is helping veterans understand and access their benefits. They have spent countless hours advising fellow veterans about the assistance they qualify for and helping fill out the paperwork to secure those benefits through the VA. One of the well-known services provided by DAV is the transportation of veterans to VA medical centers and hospitals. In rural states like Arkansas, the services these volunteers offer is critical to meeting the health care needs for veterans. The Arkansas fleet is made up of 16 vans. Last year, more than 6,600 veterans were driven to medical appointments with the help of volunteers who logged more than 18,000 hours behind the wheel. I look forward to continuing 
to work with DAV members as Congress crafts and reforms policies to improve services for veterans and their families. This country made a promise to our veterans that we must live up to, and I'm proud to join with DAV to ensure we follow through on that commitment. Working together, we can find solutions and take action to deliver the results veterans earned and expect. We will continue looking to DAV to understand how we can improve the lives of men and women who served in uniform. As a member of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee and chairman of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee that oversees VA funding, I've seen the dedication of DAV to support disabled veterans in Arkansas and across the country. I'm proud to rec recognize DAV on its 100 years of engaging veterans and advocating to advance benefits, services, and care and make a positive difference in the lives of veterans and their families.